I don't have her name tattooed to my wrist for nothing. I will watch Helena Bottom Carter in absolutely anything. But when you put her in a comedy with Greg Davies, and it's a comedy about crime scenes, I am going to get a little bit overexcited. Now, this is just a discussion about the first episode of The Cleaner. Completely spoiler free, I promise I won't spoil it. I will say now I do thoroughly recommend it. I haven't seen any of the other episodes yet. And I will definitely be watching them. I think David Mitchell's in the second one, which is ridiculously exciting. And my first impressions are very, very impressive. Uh, so, as I said, I watched this mainly because HBC is in it, to be honest. Had she not been in it, I probably would have glanced over the articles about it, but never really went into any depth with them. But as soon as I found out it was a comedy about crime scenes, absolutely love it. And I am a big true crime fan and crime drama fan. I'm a crime writer. So it kind of combines everything I love. British comedy, Helena Bonham Carter, crime scenes. Takes all of the right boxes. And while this is just about the first episode, I kind of feel like it's not going to disappoint throughout. And I'm very much looking forward to watching the rest of it. If for whatever reason it gets worse or, or my opinion changes, I will do an update. But this first episode is brilliant. So this focuses on Greg Davies' character. Um, Greg Davies is in every episode, of course. He plays Paul Wickstead, our protagonist. Worth mentioning that HBC is only in this one episode. And I kind of get the impression they have kind of one key comedy actor or... Um, I guess, name to drag people in in each episode. Starting with HBC, cannot complain at all. And Paul Wickstead, he is a, he's referred to on IMDb as a cleaning technician. Um, he goes to crime scenes to forensically clean everything up after the police are done with it. And there's this one particular scene where he walks into the kitchen and <laughs> there is blood everywhere. But it's so comical the way it's done. You can kind of tell it's fake blood. Like it's not meant to look, well I'm assuming it's not meant to look 100% realistic. It's quite comical, very bright, almost pillar box red, just streaked up all of the kitchen cupboards in a way that, you know, if that was a crime scene, a genuine crime scene, there would have been a lot of dead bodies. So it is kind of comical, and even the you know the the things that might have been grittier and a bit darker. It's it's just good fun, and coupling comedy and crime just is something I adore when it's done right, and it's definitely done right here. And as he's trying to clean up this crime scene, um, some people begin to visit the house. Somebody comes with some food, and then eventually, well, I say eventually, quite quickly, Sheila turns up, HBC's character. I'm not going to say anything about her. I'm sure you've seen the marketing images of her wearing a white shirt covered in blood. I'm not going to say what her role in this is or what the character's involvement is or what the significance of that character is. Because while this is a light-hearted comedy, I feel like the narrative did pique my interest and I did want to know more. And I guess that's where it excels at combining humour and criminality. It still is gripping even though it's not gritty. And that's something that I think was done exceptionally well. So the narrative definitely ticks all of the right boxes. The style of humour, absolutely loved it. The fact that it doesn't necessarily reference or show any self-awareness of the comedic approach to the crime is great. Such as, you know, as I said, the blood all over the kitchen. Um, obviously, if a police officer walked into that room, he would have something to say about that but it's just kind of appeared um or just seems to be normal certainly for our protagonist and i really like that approach if he had gone into the room and went you know crikey what's gone on here um i think it would have kind of ruined it a little bit because it would make it seem abnormal whereas they're trying to pass this comedy off as being legit and it works so well the way it's filmed is, is brilliant. For the most part, it's pretty standard. Um, but there is one standard kind of sitcom approach. But there is one scene in this that I adored. It's the scene with the corned beef. 
and the toilet fog based scene I, I can't see any more than that without giving away anything but just that particular element I wasn't expecting I thought it worked really well and it was beautiful to watch really really thoroughly enjoyable um, the costumes are all brilliant they work really well um, the height discrepancy between HPC and, and Greg Davis is something I absolutely love because Greg Davis is exceptionally tall and HBC is only two inches taller than me. She's about five foot two. And Sheila as a character, although she is significantly shorter in height, she comes across as very in control. And I love the character and I think she's absolutely brilliant. And my only disappointment is that this is not a feature length film because I would have loved to have dug more into her character and into her past. But obviously that's not the point in this episode. Also, her makeup, uh, HBC's eye makeup, is amazing. It does something to her eyes that makes them look really creepy, but beautiful at the same time. Alluring, but terrifying. And I absolutely love her eye makeup here. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I, th I believe that the makeup was done by Louise Constad because I've seen her post some pictures um, from around this time, but I could be wrong. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, no, I have just checked her Instagram. I am right. Uh, she did do the makeup for for that. Really thoroughly enjoyed this first episode. I don't know what to expect going forward. I assume it's going to be very similar in theme and, you know, the filming, the directing is going to be quite similar, but I'm not sure if it was directed by the same people across the board. For reference, this first episode, which is called The Widow, I haven't even mentioned that, Directed by Tom Marshall, written, of course, by Greg Davies. Really thoroughly enjoyable, combines everything I love. And even though HBC is not in it going forward, really looking forward to the next episode and the episodes thereafter. Uh, the next one is called The Writer. It airs on the 17th. Uh, so this is obviously a, a once a week thing. Six episodes. Really excited. I heard a lot of good things about it. And I really do feel like it completely lived up to my expectations I, I wasn't sure it sounded good but I wasn't sure if it would deliver because I'm quite fussy with this kind of thing but comedy crime forensics Greg Davies Hannah Bonham Carter brilliant directing visual delight great costumes fantastic eye makeup for HBC I'm trying to find a fault there has to be a fault nothing in life is perfect I guess the fault is that it's only a half hour episode and not longer honestly the cleaner really a fresh pleasant surprise and i'm really looking forward to the rest of it